Mastering DevSecOps Practices Leaders gamble with success by ignoring DevSecOps KPIs that fuel business excellence. What key performance indicators, KPIs, do its leaders use to measure the effectiveness of their DevSecOps practices, and how are these KPIs aligned with its overall business objectives to achieve operational excellence? Measurement and evaluation are crucial aspects of DevSecOps practices, as they enable organizations to assess the effectiveness of their initiatives and make data-driven decisions to achieve operational excellence. To measure the effectiveness of their DevSecOps practices, leaders use a range of key performance indicators, KPIs, that are carefully aligned with the organization's overall business objectives. One critical KPI is deployment frequency, which measures the number of deployments to production per unit of time. This KPI is essential in DevSecOps, as it reflects the ability of the organization to quickly and reliably deliver software changes to customers. By increasing deployment frequency, organizations can improve time to market, reduce the risk of delays, and enhance customer satisfaction. Leaders can set targets for deployment frequency, such as deploying to production at least 10 times per week, and track progress towards these targets to ensure that the organization is meeting its goals. Another vital KPI is Mean Time to Recovery MTTR, which measures the average time taken to recover from failures or incidents. MTTR is a critical indicator of the organization's ability to detect and respond to security incidents and to minimize the impact of failures on customers. By setting targets for MTTR, such as recovering from incidents within 30 minutes, leaders can ensure that the organization is able to quickly respond to incidents and maintain business continuity. Mean time between failures, MTBF, is another essential KPI, which measures the average time between failures or incidents. This KPI is important in DevSecOps, as it reflects the organization's ability to build reliable and secure systems that minimize the risk of failures. By tracking MTBF, leaders can identify areas for improvement and implement measures to increase the reliability of systems, such as performing regular security testing and vulnerability scanning. Change Failure Rate CFR, is another KPI used to measure the effectiveness of DevSecOps practices. CFR measures the percentage of changes that result in failures or incidents. This KPI is critical as it reflects the organization's ability to implement changes safely and reliably. By setting targets for CFR, such as a failure rate of less than 1%, leaders can ensure that the organization is able to make changes quickly and reliably, while minimizing the risk of failures. Leaders also use KPIs, such as defect density, which measures the number of defects per unit of code, to assess the quality of software changes. By tracking defect density, Leaders can identify areas for improvement and implement measures to increase the quality of code, such as performing regular code reviews and tests. In addition to these KPIs, leaders use lead time, which measures the time taken to complete a change from ideation to deployment, to assess the efficiency of the software delivery process. By reducing lead time, organizations can improve time to market, reduce the risk of delays, and enhance customer satisfaction. To ensure that these KPIs are aligned with the organization's overall business objectives, leaders use a range of techniques, such as goal setting and prioritization. For example, leaders may set a goal to reduce MTTR by 30% within the next quarter and prioritize initiatives that are likely to achieve this goal, such as implementing automated incident response tools. Leaders also use techniques such as data visualization and reporting to ensure that KPIs are transparent and accessible to stakeholders. By providing regular reports and dashboards, leaders can ensure that stakeholders have visibility into the performance of DevSecOps practices and can make data-driven decisions to improve operational excellence. Furthermore, leaders use KPIs to evaluate the effectiveness of specific DevSecOps practices, such as continuous integration and continuous delivery, CI CD. By tracking KPIs, such as pipeline velocity, which measures the speed at which changes are processed through the CI CD pipeline, 
leaders can assess the efficiency of the pipeline and identify areas for improvement. In conclusion, measurement and evaluation are critical aspects of DevSecOps practices, and leaders use a range of KPIs to measure the effectiveness of their initiatives. By tracking KPIs, such as deployment frequency, MTTR, MTBF, CFR, defect density, and lead time, leaders can assess the performance of DevSecOps practices and make data-driven decisions to achieve operational excellence. By aligning these KPIs with the organization's overall business objectives, leaders can ensure that DevSecOps practices are focused on delivering value to customers and driving business success. As I delved into the world of DevSecOps, I was struck by the realization that it's not just about implementing tools and processes, but about cultivating a culture that values collaboration, creativity, and adaptability. I recalled a conversation with a CTO who said, we're not just building software, we're building a team that can respond to the unknown. This resonated with me, as I've seen many organizations struggle to balance security and speed in their software development lifecycle. At its core, DevSecOps is about integrating security into every stage of the development process, from design to deployment. But how do you measure the effectiveness of these practices? One company I worked with, a fintech startup, had implemented a range of DevSecOps tools and processes, but was struggling to quantify their impact on the business. They had KPIs around deployment velocity and mean time to recover (MTTR). But these metrics didn't provide a complete picture of their operational excellence. I suggested they focus on three key areas, flow, feedback, and continuous learning. The first, flow, refers to the smooth and efficient movement of code from development to production. This is where metrics like lead time and deployment frequency come into play. The second, feedback, is about creating a culture where teams receive timely and actionable insights into their performance. This is where metrics like mean time to detect (MTTD) and mean time to respond (MTTR) are essential. The third area, continuous learning, is where things get really interesting. It's about creating an environment where teams can experiment, learn from their mistakes, and adapt to changing circumstances. This is where metrics like experimentation velocity and failure rate come into play. By focusing on these three areas, the fintech startup was able to gain a deeper understanding of their DevSecOps practices and how they aligned with their overall business objectives. But how do you put these metrics into practice? I worked with the startup to develop a set of actionable steps, starting with a DevSecOps maturity assessment. This involved evaluating their current practices and identifying areas for improvement. We then prioritized a set of key initiatives, such as implementing automated security testing and creating a continuous feedback loop. One of the most effective strategies we employed was a game day exercise, where we simulated a security breach and observed how the team responded. This exercise revealed areas where communication broke down and where additional training was needed. It also highlighted the importance of having a clear incident response plan in place. Throughout the process, I was struck by the importance of collaboration and creativity. DevSecOps is not just about implementing tools and processes, but about creating a culture that values experimentation and learning. It's about giving teams the autonomy to make decisions and take calculated risks. It's about embracing uncertainty and adapting to changing circumstances. As I looked back on the experience, I realized that measuring the effectiveness of DevSecOps practices is not just about KPIs, but about creating a culture that values operational excellence. It's about fostering a sense of community and shared purpose, where teams are empowered to respond to the unknown and adapt to changing circumstances.